Protect your privacy online with the best VPN for gaming, ExpressVPN. And visit expressvpn.com slash gillymaster linked in the description to find out how you can get three months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Los Santos Tuners Contract in-depth guide. We just got the Uni Depository contract a couple of days ago and at the time I make this video it is currently paying double money so today I'm going to show you how to speed run this contract as fast as possible with some good to know strats to make things easier for you. And I'm mainly going to show you how to do this solo since that is obviously the hardest way to do it but also the most accessible way to complete the mission. So for the first prep mission, you will need to head to the Lawn Bank office. And the fastest way to do this is to just hop on the Impressor Mark II. And you're going to want to make sure you're a CEO for this mission and not an MC present. That's going to be very important. Now, the game will tell you to go through the front entrance, but you're actually going to want to head up to the roof of the Lawn Bank office. And once you're up there, hop off the Impressor and open up your CEO interaction menu to spawn in some BST next to you. And after collecting it, run straight into the place, take out your stone hatchet, and smack one of the guards to activate the ability. And once you have activated the ability, you can kill another two guards if you want to, to get a little more time on it. But the main enemy that you want to take out is in the back room here. You should have enough time on it to loot his body without worrying about dying. And the BST will protect you on your way out, so you don't have to worry about the other guys either. The main reason why we came in through the roof though is because it delays the enemy detection by a slight amount which makes it easier to get that first kill with the hatchet. On the garage floor, take cover on the first car on the right hand side and toss a sticky bomb or grenade at the other cars in the same row. It's probably safer to throw a grenade because the enemies have a slight chance of shooting your sticky bomb while it's in your hand, whereas the grenade doesn't have that. But all of the cars on that side should blow up with either one. And that just leaves you with two or so enemies left, which you can just ignore if you want to and get right into the armored baller. Because the moment you get into the car, you're pretty much safe from getting shot regardless because of the bullet resistant windows. There are three different locations you can drop the baller off at. The location you choose will change the location of the getaway vehicles on the finale. However, for the strategy that we're going to be using on the finale, it does not matter where you put the baller. So just bring it to the closest one so you don't have to drive it for as long and then head back to your auto shop once the mission is complete. The second prep mission here is essentially a time waster. Yes, it's everyone's favorite, a tailing mission. You first have to go to LSIA and steal a police helicopter, after which you will earn yourself three stars. A quick tip here is when the cops lose sight of you, switch your mask and it'll drop to a two star wanna level, although you probably would be fine just flying the helicopter away to the Union Depository while you lose them, because three stars isn't that hard to lose with a helicopter either. When you're at the Union Depository, you're looking for a blue Comet S2, it's always going to be the Comet S2 and nothing else, so just steady the helicopter and scan his plates, but make sure you back off a bit after doing so so that you don't spook him. Next, we have the part that everyone is going to love, tailing him in a helicopter. There are, I believe, three different locations that he can travel to, but I've only ever seen the Vespucci location and the hotel near Vinewood. For the Vespucci location, just center the helicopter across from the pool, and he'll be up near the roof next to the white stairs here. And all you have to do is wait until he goes in for a hug or makes any sort of contact with the woman next to him and take the picture. And for the hotel in Vinewood, he's going to be right here on this side. Much easier to find than the other one in my opinion. And that's all there is to it. Now you just have to go back to your auto shop and you're ready for the finale. The loadout I highly recommend is the Hustler for the Assault Rifle. I don't really know why you would want to use anything else in this mission. And buying body armor is probably a good choice here I would say. The car you pick does not matter as you're only going to be using it for the drive over there. Because we have a different plan for the getaway. When the mission starts, all you have to do is drive to the location where you pick the baller up, get in the baller, and then drive to the Uni Depository. Remember, your private security. You gotta play the part, you dig? Just look like you itching to shoot someone, but don't know how to flick the safety. Yeah, try to look like you got a head injury and you failed the LSPD psych test. You know, you're a little slow. It's much faster to take out your guns to immediately alert the guards here so that you can run in the hallway and skip the ID check. But pull out your gun after you get behind the wall to avoid getting shot by the multiple guards in the parking lot like I do in the footage. 
Doing it stealthily or going in loud has no ending effect on the mission because you're always gonna get cops when you try to escape either way. Next stop, the vault, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Hope y'all limbered up. That style of ghost shit gonna be heavy. If you're a solo player, there's only going to be two stacks of gold to grab, but if you bring a four-man squad or anything more than just yourself, there's going to be more gold in the vault, which will contribute to a higher pay that we'll talk about a bit later. On the way out, on the vault level, you will be ambushed by a few news agents, but nothing too difficult until you get to the exit. Right here I messed up my snacking and ended up getting stuck in an animation which led to me getting rapid fired in a half a second by the AI because, you know, great game. Keep your head down, just get to the parking lot. There are a few different ways you can tackle the exit. If you have a 4 man team it probably won't matter too much since you have more than enough firepower to deal with the cops, but this is a guide for doing it solo, and on top of that I'm in free aim in this recording so we're gonna choose the easier way out which is on the left hand side. Just play it careful until you have most of the cops taken out from the right side, and then we're gonna do the snack and gun method in order to move at a decently fast speed, refill health, aim, and shoot all at the same time. In order for this to work though, you need to have the standard FPS control scheme or anything that doesn't use the A button to run. For me, I use standard FPS controls in first person mode, so I switched to first person when I moved up in order to do this. And how it works if you aren't aware of how snacks work in this game, if you aim your weapon and then use the snack, it'll instantly refill your health without an animation, whereas if you don't do that, the game will play a very slow animation that will get you killed like what happened to me a minute ago. So just use the snack menu correctly and move towards the left exit like I do. After all the cops are taken out, you can head up the stairs to the left side to get some distance from the cops, and on the other side, there are usually some cars parked here, in my case, there were NPCs driving around here, so I took one of the cars to get away with, you can also steal a cop car in this instance though if you want to, and sometimes you can even steal a cop car that drives into the Union Depository area, but I found that was really inconsistent, sometimes they would be locked, and sometimes they would let you in. You're probably thinking to yourself, why in the world aren't we taking our own getaway vehicle that's way faster instead of this little blister with a pop tire? Well, if you've played the casino heist, you'll probably know where we're heading. That's right, the good old helicopter spawn at the police station. When I'm solo, I've always gotten it to spawn in. With a group, we usually can get it to spawn in, but it's not as consistent. But this is by far the fastest and easiest way to lose the cops and travel to the destination afterwards. And now that we're in the helicopter, that's basically all there is to it, we just gotta travel to the destination just like in the casino heist. I was able to complete this entirely solo, in free aim, in about 22 minutes, so not bad at all really. If I was in auto aim, I could probably get a time of sub 20 minutes if I tried. And for the payout, the payout screen shows 270,000. This week only, you will get double than that though, which is 540,000. However, if you complete this mission with a four-man team, as the host, you will get paid 337000 or during this week of double money, that's almost 700000 And it does scale, by the way, because with three players, the host was paid 315000 or 630000 with the double money. 
So this contract is unique in the sense that it pays differently for the host depending on how many people you have on your team. You can get around 60 to 70k more if you have a 4 man squad compared to doing it solo. Which if you have friends to play with is a win win situation because the associates, they don't get their cut from the total money earned like in the heists, they just get a flat payment. But if you have to play with randoms to get this bonus, I can't say it's worth it to be honest. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this contract guide. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Huge thank you to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.